hello guys welcome back to a brand new video uh, today and um, obviously not long after the week 18 went up now it is week 19 Premier League prediction all happening set for one fixture on Boxing Day Tottenham game has just finished as I'm recording this finished 6-2 to Tottenham against Everton um, but anyway that's that week gone Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So, you can tell the first guy I'm going to start with, but I'm going to start anyway. It's Fulham versus Wolves. Um, Fulham on the downer, Claudio Radieri ain't really doing the job that Fulham expected. Um, on the other hand, Wolves ain't playing too badly, they just slightly on, ever so slightly on the up. Um... What am I expecting from this fixture? I'm expecting a Wolves win away, and I'm going to go with a 2 0 score line for that one. The next one is Crystal Palace versus Cardiff at Selhurst Park. Um, you know, Cardiff had played too badly, lost to Man United this weekend. Um, their first, uh, sorry, Man United's first win under Anagar Solskjaer. Um, Crystal Palace. Beat City. No one was expecting that, including me. Um, do I expect anything more from this game than that? No, so I'm going to go with a Palace win, um, even though it's hard for me to say from where I'm originally from and who I support. But as I say, nearly every week I do this from a neutral fan's point of view. And I'm going to go with a 2 1 Palace win. Ah, that's a bit tight. Um, the next one is Leicester City versus Manchester City. As I've just said, Man City lost to Palace this weekend. Is is this going to be a slight downer for Man City going into this fixture? Um, and Leicester winning this previous weekend just gone. So with this one, I'm going to actually call it a draw. I'm going to call it a really tough draw. And I'm going to go with a one all scoreline. The next one is Liverpool versus Newcastle. Liverpool, um, I think they had eight points clear, eight, eight something like that. Um, obviously, you're you Liverpool fans, you know what you are by clear. Um, but sitting top of that table nicely, got to be top on Christmas Day. Um, got up against a very dodgy Newcastle side. Um, yet again, VAL could have been in use this weekend. This is where I really wanted to see it in play with this season and the next. Um, for you that argue with the system, it's a computer. We program it, what we want it to do, not the other way around. But we're going to have to wait for next season for that now. Nothing we could do. But as the fixture goes, I'm going to go with a 4 0 Liverpool win for that one. The next one is Manchester United versus Huddersfield. Um, you know, Man United, um, as I've said early on in this video, um, picking up their first win, um, sorry, Anagar Solskjaer's first win, I've got to remember that, um, away to Cardiff, now it's his, his first home game against a very, very low Cardiff side, um, not Cardiff, Huddersfield, uh, I'll get my lines mixed up, um, Against a very low Huddersfield side, as I was just saying. So with this one, I'm going to predict a Man United win, and I'm going to go with a 2-1 scoreline. I can't expect to see what I did at Cardiff. I just think that was a one-off. Um, the next one is Spurs versus Bournemouth. Now, as I've said, Spurs just won 6-2 against Everton away from home. Um, obviously, still at Wembley. Progress on their new home ground. I'm hoping it's not going to be too long before you fans can start visiting. The only thing I think, I think is a bit disrespectful. Obviously for us clubs that have been in the Premier League for two years. We went to Wembley last season. You clubs that have been to Wembley to see Tottenham. Uh, with your team Tottenham away. You'll be playing at Wembley. You ain't going to get a chance unless you start to see their new ground. Um, but as the fixture goes, I'm going to go with a 2-1 scoreline for that one. Um, I'm not expected to top them to hit the high horses um, as usual. So, you know, no plan of 
very good Bournemouth side who just beat Brighton. The next game, as I've just been saying, um, is Brighton versus Arsenal. Now, as I've just said, Brighton have lost to Bournemouth this previous weekend. Lewis Dunk, possible suspension, um, mistaken identity for Brighton. Um, you know, this is where I really wanted it this in this season to the next season. But unfortunately, Brighton voted against it. And it was along with 10 other clubs. Um, I'm going to be honest with Brighton. I do watch it abroad. And it does work. So I don't see why clubs fight against it. The only clubs I can really think against it. Is the players that you know put, put it on a bit. Um, so... But as the fixture goes, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with a shock for some of you, and I'm gonna go with a two-one Brighton win. Um, Arsenal came down here last season. Look at the shambles. Um, I'm not expecting the same Arsenal side, but I'm expecting something from Brighton this time round. The next one is Watford versus Chelsea, London derby. Dark horses, Watford. Um, you know, very. Very uh, hard to pick up points. Um, they pick up points and then they don't. Um, but as Chelsea are really dom dom ah, get my word out, dominant at the minute in time. Um, you know, so I'll go up to Chelsea win for this one. And I'm going to go with a 3-0 scoreline. Now the next game is to be played on the 27th of Boxing Day. Um, is Southampton versus West Ham. So with this one, I'm going to make this one quick. And I'm going to go with a 3-0 West Ham win. The last one, um, and it has been played on Boxing Day, is Burnley versus Everton. Now as I've said earlier on in this video, um, Everton lost 6-2 to Tottenham. I can't see that damaging their confidence whatsoever um, against a very poor Burnley side. And I'm going to go with a 3-0 scoreline for that one. Anyway, guys, if you haven't watched my uh, last week's prediction, guys, I hope you have a happy Christmas, happy New Year. Guys, I liked all the support you gave, you've given me through this year. Get my two thumbs in. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to 2019 already. Just in case you don't follow me on social media, all my social media links are down below, including my Twitter and my Facebook. I'll just put an update on there and um, what you're expecting across this busy week in football. Um, so go and check it out. Guys, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.